In today's show, we're still early for this Bitcoin price peak as the Bitcoin price just reclaimed that $58,000 support. In today's show, I'll be sharing with you the five things to watch out for in the Bitcoin market. This week, we'll be checking out the latest analysis from crypto analyst Michael Van Day Pop, as well as Glassnode Analytics' Jan and Yan. Also, as Document and Bitcoin points out, Bitcoin is now larger than the Australian dollar. Congratulations, Bitcoin and all BTC hodlers. Checking out the latest wisdom from Max Kaiser, he tweeted, as we've been predicting, governments won't ban Bitcoin they will start competitively mining it hashtag hash race hashtag hash war and he's responding to this headline u.s needs to mine more bitcoin due to national security reasons miami mayor says max also tweeted bitcoin is unstoppably irreversibly programmed to keep taking greater share of the global energy output all fiat money altcoins and gold die off as money as do virtually all ideologies schools and models this is our salvation Thanks, Satoshi. Also in today's show, Plan B, the creator of the stock to flow model, says the Bitcoin bull market is nowhere near the top and explains why. He recently tweeted, in my opinion, we are only four months into the bull market and nowhere near the end of it. Bitcoin is just getting started. I'll be breaking down his latest analysis for you right here in today's show. Also in today's episode, breaking news, New Zealand retirement funds, multi-million dollar Bitcoin allocation surges 460%. In five months, as Willie Wu points out right here, New Zealand Kiwi Saver Pension Fund growth strategy. What's with the massive green candle? Oh, yeah, they bought a small allocation into Bitcoin quarter four of 2020. As you can see right here on your screen, pretty impressive gains. Willie Wu also shares that the New Zealand Pension Fund deployed 5% into Bitcoin back in October of 2020, two months after MicroStrategy. And he also points out September 2020, it was 1.75 billion New Zealand dollars assets under management. That's roughly a 60 million US dollar buy of BTC. I'll be breaking this down for you in today's show. We'll also be taking a look at the overall crypto market. As you can see, Bitcoin breaking out now back above $58,000. We have Ethereum and all the major altcoins also breaking out and in the green. But where's the Bitcoin price likely to go from here? Find out all this plus so much more in today's show. Here at Crypto News Alerts, I drop a brand new episode every single day. So be sure to smash that subscribe button. That's right. And turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, just like this. And before I kick off today's show, March 31st at 8 p.m. Eastern, it is going down. Tika Tuari's next live event entitled Crypto's Next Trillion Dollar Coin. Tika picked Bitcoin back in 2016 when it was trading at just $428, which went on to become the world's first trillion dollar crypto. And if you would have listened to him back then, you'd now be up 120x. But don't worry, Tika believes he discovered the next trillion dollar coin and he's going to be revealing the name of this crypto absolutely free during this live event to attend an RSVP. Click the link right down below. It'll take you here. Simply enter your best email address and click the button that says sign me up. And for doing so, you're going to receive some free bonuses, including a three-part strategy session entitled How to Profit from the Crypto Boom of 2021, which already started. You can actually access the video right here under Strategy Session 1. Now, another free bonus you're going to get access to is Tika Tuari's Palm Beach Confidential Crypto Corner, which is valued at $2,500. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and click that link right down below to register and I look forward to seeing you there. All right, welcome back to another episode of Crypto News Alerts. I'm your host JV. We have a lot to discuss, so let's just dive right in. Bitcoin starts a new week in an all too familiar territory with new all-time highs just out of reach. That's right, we're currently now back above $58,000 after a positive weekend. The largest crypto has avoided a deeper price dip than seen last week and 50,000 has stuck as support. So what's next for the king of all crypto? Coin Telegraph takes a look at five factors which may shape the Bitcoin price action in the coming days, starting with the stock set for a crunch moment. Monday will form an interest in open for U.S. equities as fears mount over the impact of Friday's $20 billion worth of block trades. Originating from major players such as Goldman Sachs and Morgan Stanley, the surprise appearance of the orders targeting mostly tech stocks have caused a headache for traders. This will now play out once the market opens on Wall Street today on Monday. Traders everywhere know the story and will be glued to their screens. Portfolio manager Sharif told Bloomberg, volatility in stocks implies a knock-on effect for Bitcoin, but the ultimate extent of that depends on movements at which this time are unknown. The markets could start trading in a friendly manner at the beginning of the week. Andreas, a strategist at German bank Comdirect added, although there is currently some major profit taken in unusual block trade activities, these market asymmetries can currently still be processed well. Other macro factors include declining oil prices, though this is nevertheless not as pressing for Bitcoin hawks as stocks. An OPEC meeting later this week combined with the potential resolution for the crisis.
crisis and the Suez Canal are pushing prices down as expectations of supply increase rise. Now, the next factor to keep your eyes out on the Bitcoin price this week is Bitcoin price is still consolidating at $56,000. This morning, we just pumped to above 58 Gs. Now, for Bitcoin spot markets, at least early on Monday, it's a tale of consolidation. Saturday and Sunday brought some welcome relief for traders who watched Bitcoin descend to lows, which at one point tapped $50,000 itself. Deeper dives were avoided. However, the liquidity at 46,000 was left untouched in favor of return familiar resistance, beginning at around $56,000. Now, at this time, Bitcoin is currently trading just above $58,000, but still unable to tackle what has become a broad sea of sellers all the way up to the current all time highs of 61,700. Checking out this tweet from crypto analyst Michael Van de Pop. He wrote this on Sunday Bitcoin scenario is playing out so far, in which the crucial resistance fails to break in one go. Either way, that's not bad. If $54,000 fails to hold support, I'm assuming we'll see this scenario play out still consolidation. This wait and see attitude has characterized the mood among analysts following the all time highs. The consequences of a supply shock in the form of draining exchange reserves and a lack of selling from strong hodlers, they argue, have yet to be felt. Now, the next factor to keep your eyes out on this week for the Bitcoin price is April gains depend on consumer spending. Now, we all know historically April has been the most bullish month for the Bitcoin price, but April's price performance will depend just as much on retail investors as the institutional crowd. According to on-chain analytics service, Glassnode, in its latest research published last week, Glassnode highlighted an unusual disparity between U.S. consumer spending and disposable income generated by the coronavirus lockdowns. While normally tightly bound, the onset of lockdowns saw the two measures of retail investors purchasing power diverge. There were more money thanks to stimulus checks, among other factors, but nowhere to spend it. Now, with the reopening creeping into multiple states, the balance is primed to be redressed as pent-up consumer demand becomes a major narrative. Quoting Jan and Yan right here on crypto Twitter, many Households now have an extra buffer of income to spend due to the new stimulus checks and decreased spending during lockdowns. Will they invest this into the markets or pay off debt? Bitcoin's April performance will depend on it. And they share this graph, which shows excess saving buffer of over 12% annual consumer spending since February of 2020. An accompanying blog post argues that the most recent stimulus checks worth $1,400 have yet to make their presence felt in the economy. The recent stimulus package was much larger than the one in January, yet global markets have felt little effects of it. In the global market so far, Glassnode added, it's difficult to measure to what extent the checks have arrived in households until today. And more importantly, how willingly retail is going to spend or save the money, this time consistently considering it may be the last monetary stimulus for a while. An unconfirmed report suggests that the next round of checks may come sooner than thought. Now, the next factor to keep your eyes out on this week for the Bitcoin price is the RSI is saying Bitcoin will deliver more gains. Bitcoin technical indicators remain overwhelmingly bullish on longer time frames. That's right. How many of you are bullish on the king of all crypto? Holla at your boy in the comments right down below. The latest one to be highlighted is the relative strength index, better known as the RSI, which is now entering its peak phase, which traditionally companies, higher prices. Quant analyst Plan B, creator of the Stock to Flow series of Bitcoin price models, shows how the RSI fluctuates relative to the point in Bitcoin having cycles. With the year after having normally the best in terms of price gains, the RSI is indicating that 2021 will be no different to 2013 or 2017. Sharing his tweet right here, he wrote, Bitcoin monthly RSI is not even 95. In 2011, 2013, and 2017, bull markets, we have had at least three months above 95. Still, early and checking out this graph right here it shows you the bitcoin relative strength index and as you can see we have this orange dot which is followed by more parabolic gains which shows us this bitcoin bull market is only just getting started and if you're to ask me we are still in the bottom of the first inning all right now for the fifth and final factor to keep your eyes out on for the bitcoin price this week it's the fear and greed index which stays calm in terms of investor sentiment the weekend's price rise had a welcome muted effect on the chances of an instant sell-off that's according to a classic measure of the market, which is one of my favorite indicators, the Crypto Greed and Fear Index, a scale between zero and 100. Fear and greed charts show how the market is feeling about Bitcoin price action and infers whether the recent activity means that it is due for a bounce off lows or a sell-off from highs. The trip to a previous all-time high of 58,300 in February sparked warning signs from the index, which circled all-time highs alongside Bitcoin slash USD. The come down saw its score slash from 94 out of 100 to 38 out of 100 on March 1st, only to return to the mid 
mid 70s days later. And at this time, checking out the crypto greed and fear index that shows we're currently rated a 72 in greed. Yesterday was a 74, last week a 70, and last month a 56 in extreme greed. All right, and before I break down our next stories of the day, including Plan B saying that this Bitcoin bull market is nowhere near the top and explaining why, as well as New Zealand retirement funds multi million dollar Bitcoin allocation surging 460% in five months. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market. We can see Bitcoin maintaining just above that $58,000 resistance, flipping it into a support. Hopefully, we can retest the all time high of just above $60,000, break out and reach a new all time high in April, which I'm predicting there's many very bullish analysts. I'm also predicting a $100,000 Bitcoin price by the end of May. Now, Ethereum is up about 5% for the day, trading just under $1,800. We have Theta up 7.8%, trading at $13.38. Polkadot up 7%, trading above $34. And BNB up 1% for the day, trading at $273. Now checking out the latest from Document and Bitcoin, who points out Bitcoin is now larger than the Australian dollar. That's right, the Bitcoin market cap back above $1 trillion and close to $1.1 trillion currently, where the Australian dollar is at $1.08 trillion. Now checking out the latest wisdom from Max Kaiser. He wrote, as we've been predicting, governments won't ban Bitcoin. They will start competitively mining it. Hashtag hash race, hashtag hash war. And he's responding to this headline. U.S. needs to mine more Bitcoin due to national security reasons. Miami mayor says that's right. And Max also points out that Bitcoin is unstoppably, irreversibly programmed to keep taking greater share of the global energy output. All fiat money, altcoins and gold die off as money, as do virtually all ideologies, schools and models. This is our salvation. Thanks, Satoshi. Touche. Now, before I break down our next story of the day with Plan B saying that this Bitcoin bull market is nowhere near its top and explaining why. First, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market cap sitting above $1.8 trillion, right on the cusp of a new all-time high with $115 billion in volume in the past 24 hours and current Bitcoin dominance at 59.4%. Now, checking out the Bitcoin market cap, we're just under $1.1 trillion. Now, checking out the top gainers within the top 100, we have Hedera Hashgraph up 26%, trading at $0.43. Cents. Clayton up almost 20%, trading at $4.17. Holo up almost 18%, trading at 1.1 cents. And Kusama up about 17%, trading at about $563. All right, now let's break down our next story of the day. The analyst who first applied the stock to flow model to Bitcoin says the top crypto's bull market is just getting started despite its recent struggle to stay above that 60K thousand dollar support. In a new tweet, Plan B tells his 347,000 followers he believes that Bitcoin's current boom cycle is far from over. Checking out this tweet right here. In my opinion, we are only four months into the bull market and nowhere near the end of it. Bitcoin is just getting started and you're checking out the Bitcoin cross asset model, better known as Stock to Flow X, which does predict a $288,000 Bitcoin price by the end of this year. I do like to point out that the Stock to Flow model has been historically the most accurate price prediction model for the king of all crypto. The quantitative analyst looks at Bitcoin's historical performance and turns a momentum to support his argument. According to Plan B, Bitcoin Bitcoin's relative strength index, which measures the pace of price movements for a given asset, has not yet reached this peak, as I pointed out a little earlier. And as you can see right here on your screen, while Plan B is long term bullish on the leading cryptocurrency, he says Bitcoin is still facing significant headwinds. Quoting him right here, there are also some real risks left. Bitcoin ban, quantum computing, that to have to be dealt with. The quant analyst adds that a Bitcoin super cycle, where the largest cryptocurrency would ascend to $1 million per BTC, is currently out of the question, as he believes that most market participants are irrational. My personal prediction is a $1 million Bitcoin price by the year 2025. And how I come up with that is we all know every four years is a halving. The next halving is in 2024. And the year proceeding, the halving is when the market goes absolutely parabolic. My year end price prediction for this year is above $200,000, which is right in alignment with stock to flow X as well as Max Kaiser's $220,000 year end price prediction. But quoting plan B right here, in my opinion, Markets are not completely rational and thus will not front run next having cycle or stock the flow model. Greed and fear will take over from ratio at some point. So where do you feel the Bitcoin price is likely to go by the end of this year? Let me know in the comments right down below. And before I break down our next story of the day, New Zealand retirement funds, multi-million dollar Bitcoin allocation surges 460% in five months. But first, I want to remind you to smash that show more button right below this video in the description for a detailed analysis of what's going on in the crypto market. 
This goes for all 730 plus videos right here on my YouTube channel. I have a daily letter which goes out to over 30,000 subscribers every single day. To subscribe, visit letter.cryptonewsalerts.net. Also have a blog I update daily which could be found at cryptonewsyes.com. Also be sure to smash that subscribe button right below this video in the description to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day just like this you can also find me on all the major podcasts and platforms from spotify the home of the joe rogan experience to apple's itunes you can also follow me on twitter to receive daily crypto news alerts my twitter handle is crypto news yes and for those of you active on facebook i do have a private crypto facebook group entitled crypto alchemy to join it click this link request to join i'll be sure to plug you in and for those of you active on telegram as i am i do have a private crypto telegram chat which is uncensored to join it click this link you automatically be added and i'm looking forward to connecting with you personally on the inside all right now let's break down our final story of the day new zealand's kiwi saver growth strategy fund is seeing its multi-million dollar bitcoin allocation pay off big time in a span of five months citing new zealand fund management chief investment officer james grigger local news outlet stuff reveals that the 244 million retirement plan invested five percent of its capital into bitcoin grigger says that the fund first bought the top crypto when it was worth $10,000 in October of 2020. And now six months later, we're at about 60 G's, baby. Says Grigor, if you're happy to invest gold, you really can't discount Bitcoin. The fund is part of a national Kiwi Saver program that aims to help workers save for their retirement similar to a 401k account in the United States. On-chain analyst Willie Wu reveals that the fund printed huge gains after its Bitcoin allocation. Checking out his tweet here on crypto Twitter, New Zealand Kiwi Saver Pension Fund Growth Strategy. What's with the green what? Oh yeah, they bought a small allocation into Bitcoin quarter four of 2020. And as you can see right here, these parabolic gains, you gotta love it. Willie Wu adds that Bitcoin's meteoric ascent from 10,000 to above $60,000 this month would have forced the fund to unload some of its Bitcoin holdings. Checking out his other tweet right here. Pension fund deployed 5% into Bitcoin back in October of 2020, two months after MicroStrategy. September 2020, it was 1.75 billion New Zealand dollars assets under management. That's roughly a 60 million US dollar buy of BTC. And he also shares Bitcoin would represent 20% plus of the fund in March 2021. I imagine they would have rebalanced since then, selling down some of their GBTC the last few weeks, given it's a diversified fund. He also adds that this is probably the original article from Stuff. It cites 350 million assets under management, some mismatch from my own research, finding 1.75 billion assets under management September 2020. And he also tweets 3 to 10% of Kiwi salary and wage income deploys into Kiwi Saver, they have the option to pick the growth fund, which is exposed to Bitcoin. Hint, hint. Now for a quick recap, what I cover with you right here in today's show. We are still early for the Bitcoin price peak. In today's show, I shared the five things to watch out for in the Bitcoin market this week. I shared the latest analysis from Plan B, the creator of the stock to flow model, as well as crypto analyst Michael Van Day Pop, and from Jan and Yan of Glassnode Analytics. I also shared the latest from Document and Bitcoin, who points out that Bitcoin is now larger than the Australian dollar. Let's go BTC. I also shared the latest from Max Kaiser, who says, as we've been predicting, governments won't ban Bitcoin. They will start competing competitively mining it. Hashtag hash race, hashtag hash war. Also in today's show, I shared that Plan B, the creator of the stock to flow model, says that this Bitcoin bull market is nowhere near the top and even explains why. Also in today's show, I shared that New Zealand retirement funds, multi-million dollar Bitcoin allocation surges 460% in five months. Not too shabby, eh? So where do you feel the Bitcoin price is likely to go next? Let me know in the comments right down below. Well, that's gonna conclude today's show. As always, I appreciate you tuning in and journeying along with me inside this incredible crypto matrix. If you gain value out of today's show, be sure to smash that subscribe button. That's right, and turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, just like this. And real quick, before I go, March 31st at 8 p.m. Eastern, it is going down. Tikatwari's next live event entitled Crypto's Next Trillion Dollar Coin. Back in 2016, he picked Bitcoin at $428, which went on to become the world's first trillion dollar coin. And if you would have listened to him back then, you would have experienced 120x gains. That's right. But don't worry, because Tika believes he discovered the next trillion dollar coin, and he's going to be revealing the name for free during this live event to register an RSVP. Click the link right down below. It'll take you here. Simply enter your best email address, then click the button that says sign me up. And he has some free bonuses that you can access immediately as soon as you do, including a three-part strategy session entitled How to Profit from the Crypto Boom of 2021, which already started. You can check out Strategy Session 1 and Strategy Session 2 from Tikatwari. 
Strategy Session 3 will be released the day before the live event on March 30th. Now, another free bonus you're going to get access to is Tika Tuari's Palm Beach Confidential Crypto Corner, which is valued at $2,500. To take advantage of this, all you need to do is click the link right down below. Go ahead and register and RSVP. I look forward to seeing you on the live event, and I'll catch you on tomorrow's episode. Peace.